we are scared. Uh, they already started to rape our women. There was an information uh, from people who I personally know that 17 year old girl, it's happened to her and then they killed her. So we are terrified and scared, but we are not gonna give up. This book of Isaiah, chapter 32, and verse 11. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makhakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makhakwadash, Brak Dum. To Zuquanium, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf, you know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the whole full alike, out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence, make your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Pashai, Ban Yashallah, and this be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Pavi HaBashim Yahushai. You know, going to this article, came across through the Spirit. You know, one of the brothers of the lesson going into it, right on how Russian troops are raping women in Kershon, right on, on Kershon, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, right over there in Ukraine, right? Tremble. You see that? Tremble, ye women that are at ease, man, because, you know, Russian, Russian invading Ukraine, it just goes to show, you know, um, that women are, are spoils of war. You see that? Women are spoils of war. And that's going to come to the soils of America, Babylon the Great. When society collapse out here, because guess what? You will have Russian mercenaries, Chinese mercenary, you know, mercenaries, you know, different troops, you know, on the soils of America, man. And they're not going to have no mercy upon you Babylonians, you know, especially you Jake women, you know. So that's why, you know, to you sincere sisters that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, continue, you know, being meek, lowly, humble, you know, silent, you know, reverencing your husband if you have one. You know what I'm saying? Serving how Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability, keeping faith so you can be protected protected during that time. Which according to scriptures, you know, there will be elect women getting delivered. Right? So this is really like a warning, you know, to those that still got the independent spirit. You know, that um that Beyonce song, I'm a survivor spirit, you know. I could do battle by myself spirit. You know, if you, you sis out there that got that spirit on you, man, that's Satan, that's Shatan. You better rebuke him. You know, because you will need a man and not just any man, a man of the Lord in these last days, man. It's that simple, you know, because it's begin to that point because um, when society collapsed, which they, you know, they, they lean in towards because all of a sudden, which Lord willing, I could do a part two lesson, you know, going to how um, basic, basically Biden lifting all the mandates, you know, out of nowhere, just that, oh, forget about this, focus on this, you know, forget about the, the crown Vic, focus on, you know, war. You know, cyber attacks, yada, 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 because we know that's about to pop up upon this earth. Major cyber attacks, man. That wicked ass Klaus Swabs was talking about that as well. How a major cyber attack will make this sea on the web just like a small disturbance in comparison, man. And they're going to blame it on Russia. Now they got the narrative. Now they're going to blame it on Russia. You know, when a cyber attack happens, it's going to knock out the water supply, financial. It can hit the power grid. Society can be done, man. Within a, like three days, society can be a whole nother... It's gonna be like a movie, man, but worse than the movies, man. Mo worse than The Road. Worse than, you know, uh, uh, what's that movie? The Book of Eli. Worse than, you know, Mad Max Fury Road. It's gonna get terrible out here, man. You know? So that's why it's very vital for you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Natives from the Indians, men, women, and children to get right and repent and have faith on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, back to the main point of this lesson I'm going to. Let's read some of this article, right? And now you've seen a video clip in the intro. They said they're scared, man. They said they're scared. It says Ukrainian woman claims, and this came out two days ago, right? March 4th, 2022, year of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua turning up. 
It says Ukrainian woman claims Russian troops raping women in uh, Kherson, right? Let's read it. It says a Ukrainian resident of the Russian controlled city of um, Kherson said the occupying troops have already started to rape our woman. You see that? Now, that's more than one. Now, they mentioned a case with a 17 year old, you know, young woman that got raped. You see that? And killed. So they raped and killed her, man. And they show you that in these different movies, man. You know, women are spoilers of war. You know, and children, but mainly women as well. You see? So it's going to get bad. During Jacob's trouble when society collapses, it's going to get bad for men, women, and children, but especially you wicked-ass women out there, man. You know, and I already mentioned this earlier, but I'll mention it again through spirit because I'm adding balance to this lesson as well, right? I'm adding balance to the lesson because you, you will have the elect woman getting delivered by way of angels, by way of their husbands, the, which are the prophets, the men of the Lord, you know, all type of ways to get delivered. You see that? And there will be women getting delivered. But for the vast majority of you so-called black women, so-called Hispanic women, so-called Native American Indian women, right? That's westernized and is an uh, independent spirit of, a, you know, of Babylon, a great drunk with the wine of Babylon, a great. You're going to taste the fury of Yahweh Basham al Shah because he controls all things. And he's going to send death, famine, ravishings, rapings. I'm going to get it. In the Book of Lamentations, what happened during the Babylonian siege? And Jeremiah wrote the Book of Lamentations for, for, for that reason. He was lamenting, you know, also during the time of uh, 70 AD, you know, also during the time of, you know, um, different time periods throughout history, man. Right. Women during the famine was eating their own children, man. Just imagine that, you know, during the Babylonian siege as well. And also before that, during the time of, um, I believe it was Elijah or, or Elisha during that time. Right. It was, a, it was a, um, a famine in Samaria, man, you know, and um, you had women basically that had the conversation like, you know, dude, rough, roughly paraphrasing it. Right. Because I'm going to get some, read some more this article, get some more precepts. It's not going to be too long, but briefly paraphrasing that account. Basically, the two women, they had two sons, two kids, you know, two children. And he said, uh, we gonna eat my son today and tomorrow we're gonna eat your son. And they both agreed. So they boiled and cooked and ate her son during the famine. Then the next day that the other woman hit her son. <laughs> the next day the other woman hit her son man so she supplanted that woman to eat her her son so she could be full that day but the next day she hit her son now, i'm not eating my son you know but i'll eat yours so just some how do you think how do you know how bad it has to be as a famine for a woman to eat her child you see but let's read some of more of this article right so like i said man, it's gonna get bad for you women out there you know so it says a ukrainian resident of the russian controlled city of kershaw said the occupying troops have already started to rape our women and we see in america babylon great today crime rate going up especially towards women you know women get pushed into train tracks followed home then stabbed up to death you know what i'm saying get hit with you know hatchets you see getting robbed for the for the vehicles you know follow you know there's a lot of stalkers out there man and a lot of women do parade their bodies around and it's like you know it'll, it'll tease a man you know, a, a creepy, you know, Jake that haven't gotten none in years, fresh out of jail, whatever the case may be. He see a woman walking, he see all her body parts, you know, but she claims she dressed because she got, you know, bra and panties on, basically, you know, showing everything. You know, you can look, but you can't touch. Men are going to start touching, man. They're going to start grabbing up. They're already doing it. So imagine when, when it's um, a lawless society, when there's no law, no order, and troops are coming through. Because you're going to have American troops even doing that to women, man, you know? You know, when they set up military checkpoints, quarantine zones, martial law, dirt martial law, them troops are going to be raping women, man. You Jake woman. They're going to be grabbing you, you know, grabbing you up. I saw a movie. Uh, What was it called? No, it was a TV show called To the Lake. You know, and in this scene, you had a man and his wife was pregnant, man. You know, his wife was pregnant, but, you know, she committed adultery on him and all of that. But in any event, she was pregnant. And then when the troops came, they act like they was his friend because he was a rich Edomite man. You know, he was a rich. Uh, I believe he's like. I don't know. He was from some country. Kind of sounded like Ukraine, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, though. But he sounded like he was from Russia or Ukraine or some shit. But in any event, in the movie, uh, in the TV show, he was cool with the troops. Like, he was cool with the higher ups and politicians. So when he came to his house, he thought she was sweet. But this was a, a basically like a, a ragtag, you know, bandit group, like a group of military troops that banded together and was doing their own thing, basically. Right. So he didn't know that. So when he came to the to the house, they talking to him like they knew him and all that stuff like that. Then he just hit him over the head, man, knocked his ass out and then went to proceed to rape his woman. And she said, no, please don't do it. I'm pregnant. They said, man, shut, they said, shut the fuck up. They literally shut, they said, shut the fuck up. We don't care. They about the rape. But then someone came, you know, saved the day. You know, the captain save holes. 
but now nah, yeah in the movie yeah, in the tv show someone came and you know stopped it but that goes to show the mindset men will have in these last days in a lawless society let's read on down though it says it says uh svetlana uh, zarina 27 who lives with her grandmother in the in the black sea port city of about 200 290 100 200 and 90,000 people captured Wednesday spoke with CNN about the, the the dire situation and accused the invading forces of sexually attacking women. Right? They already started to rape our women. There was information from people that I personally know that a 17 year old girl, it happened to her and then they killed her. So they raped a 17 year old woman, young woman, then killed her. She told host John Berman on Friday, these claims have not yet been independently verified. It says, um, as if city resident, resident, residents like you have mounted any resistance, she said that all people can do is just sit at home and take care of ourselves because we are scared. You know, they're terrified, man. Right. So I'm got to read more of this article. You, you brothers, you sisters get the point. You know, for you, you sisters out there, man, you better serve your house by Shemel Shah. If you got a husband, reverence your husband, man. You know, stick by his side, especially if, especially if he's a man of the Lord and his truth and his gospel, man. Because when, when society collapses, man, is man, it's gonna get it's gonna get bad for women, man. Children as well and men. Don't get me wrong, but this lesson is focusing on the women. So let's get the scriptures, right? It's like I said, not gonna be not too long. Look at Second Edges sixteen, <clears throat> and verse, where's it at? Or is it fifteen? No, no, no. It's definitely sixteen, right here. Second Edges sixteen and verse thirty-three. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. And you know, and you go into the scripture, right? The concept of Second Acts 15, 16. Basically, um, the Heavenly Father, through the archangel Uriel, was giving a prophet Ezra, our forefather, a rundown on what he's gonna do in these last days. The plagues, pestilences, or hell breaking loose, martial law. He saw it all, man. You know, society collapse and famines, right? And he said during this time. It says the virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn, having no husbands. Let's start up something. Let's jump down, right? Let's start at verse 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars. And this is just the beginning, man. And the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? You know, so this is, this man is about to get bad. So during that time, you're going to have what? Verse 33, second, elder 16 and 33. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughter shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars, there shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. See, because their, their husbands are not men of the Lord. The Lord not going to take care of them because the scripture do say what? My servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. So the men of the Lord can get well taken care of. Right? So the, the woman going to mourn because the husband going to be getting put to death during the famines. They're going to get drafted to World War Three. You know, they're going to get drafted to different wars. And they're going to get put to death. So they're going to be mourning. Why? Because they're going to need protection, guidance, leadership, you know, a provider. You see that? That's why the scripture, the prophecy is written, Isaiah 4 and 1, how seven women going to take hold of one man. Saying we shall eat our own bread Where our own apparel Only let us be called by thy name To take away our reproach That prophecy is running for a reason Because it will come to pass Seven is the number of completion It could be one It could be two It could be seven It could be ten It could be a hundred Right They're all going to flock to a man of the Lord In that time Because they're going to see That the Lord is dealing with that man And they're going to get protected They're just, they're going, they're just going to think about safety man The mindset of women Going to change drastically man When shit hit the fan Right And this way this American society Got it set up they got, you know, our woman at ease, man. Our women are at ease. If you look at our women, they walk, you know, like the Isaiah 3rd chapter says, you know, tinkling feet, you know, high heels, stilettos, you know what I'm saying? Showing their whole bodies to, to everybody. Everyone can see all they, they cleavage, everything, you know, wearing makeup, getting the, 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 the fake eyelashes, all type of stuff done to their face to try to look more appeasing, you know, and all of that, trying to look attractive. They take a lot of photos on Instagram and all of this, uh, Facebook. Right, TikTok, you know, they got only fans. You see that? They parade their bodies around and um they're at ease with it, man. They think that's they think it's cool because none is you know, shit ain't really you know, none they're not getting jacked up for it. But guess what? They're gonna start getting jacked up. 
And when they start getting jacked up, then they're going to try to, you know, seek the Lord, try to seek the men of the Lord. And they're going to get denied, man. Like I'm saying, for the vast majority of women, y'all ain't going to make it in America, man. Straight up. Like, I would say, like, you can count it on one hand how many might make it out of America, man. Because that's so bad it's going to get. But let's read on down. It says, hear now these things and understand them, you servants of the Lord. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to add balance to the lesson, right? But, you know, a lot because a lot of people get sensitive with these with this type of topics, you know, going to the women, going to children, getting put to death, women getting put to death. They be like, oh, no, not the women, not the kids. But guess what? That's in the Bible, man. It's all throughout the scriptures. The Lord, he's not a respecter of persons. He don't care if you're old, young woman or man. You get you you wicked. You get jacked. You won't get jacked. What happened to Jezebel? The Lord had it with dogs ate her, ate her alive, man. <laughs> he ravished her ass, man. So we're going to get the book of Isaiah, the 13, 32nd chapter. Ooh, let me get 13 first, right? Isaiah 13 and verse 11. And I'll punish the world for their for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I'll cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And who's the most proud? The woman, man. They're proud as all hell. You got, of course, you know, you got men that's proud too. But you women out here, man. In America, shit, man. Y'all walk, y'all walk proud. Y'all look proud, man. You know, you could just look on their face. Oh, they proud. She thinks she the shit. <laughs> you know. It says, uh, and I'll cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I'll lay low the hardiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a golden wedge of all fierce. So during that time, he's going to make his elect men precious like fine gold, which is what they're going to be highly sought after. You're going to have men, you know, seeking the understanding, seeking the men of the Lord for wisdom and knowledge and, and understanding what's going on. You know, even children. I think one of the brother, um, I'm on a bar, had a, had a dream about, you know, children, you know, surrounding him, telling him to do the, um, because he has spiritual powers through the spirit, saying do it again. You know, he's feeding them. It was something like that. I can't really remember. It was a little, long time ago, right? But especially women going to flock to the men of the Lord. That just, you know, it's, it's going to be natural, you know? They're going to know I have to flock to this man. If I don't, I'm dead. <laughs> um, because the thing that you women going to witness are mass rapings, you know, mass cannibalism, you know, troops coming down with the guns, smack you over the head, rape you, then killing you, then... Or raping you, leaving you alive, and leave you in the basement to rape you anytime they want, and all type of stuff, man. You're gonna pass around to all of them, gang bang, gang, gang raped. All type of shit, man. It's gonna get bad. It's gonna get ugly. But not for you elect women. You women out there that serve your house by shy and truth and sincerity, which is a few, you know, in America, Babylon the Great. That's what we say, you few sincere sisters, right? Y'all gonna be alright, man. So, you know, if you have a man if you have a husband that's man of the Lord, stick by his side. Even if you have a husband that's not man of the Lord, reverence your husband and continue serving your house by shy with meekness, um, lowliness and humility, right? Being shamefaced. You see that? You'll be alright, man. Because we wrote down it says, Therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. And the wrath for the Lord of hosts and the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chase roll and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people. That's another thing, too. People gonna turn to their own people. So a lot of you, you, you black women, because we're black, darkness, evil, you, you evil, demonic woman that's with these Edomite men. <laughs> you finished, man. You're you're done. You ever seen the movie Get Out? <laughs> they're gonna be they gonna violate, man. You see that? So they're gonna try to flee to their own people. The black women going to be like, oh, I got to go to so called black man, you know, it says, but they're going to get denied if they go to a man of the Lord. It says and flee everyone to his own land. They're going to try to flee to their own land. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Watch this. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. So people going to witness their children get put to death by troops, by other men. It don't matter, man. You know, you're going to witness, you, if you're wicked out there, you're going to witness your child die, man. Get put to death in your face. You might put your child to death, man. You might eat your child. You might, you know, you know, you know, stab your child up, then boil them or fry them because of the famine, man. If you're not serving y'all by Shemiah Oshai. See, I'm going to say this again. You men, uh, the hopeful elect, right? The hopeful elect, you so, you, um, not, you so-called black, Spanish, Native Americans that serving y'all by Shemiah the best of your ability. You, your, your wife, your children will be fine, man. If you serve Yahweh Hashem, I'll shine no truth sincerity and have faith. He'll he protect you. You don't have to worry about none of that. He's gonna feed you during the famine. So you're not gonna, you're not even gonna think about that. <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna be okay. But for you wicked Jake's out, yeah, finish, man. It says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. So they when they when people go door to door looking for food and water, they can go inside a house and see, you know. Okay, he's going here, grab their stuff. They're going to get food. They're going to get bread, water, canned goods. They're going to see you, your wife, your children. They're going to kill you. 
You know, they they might take your children captive to serve them. You know, then they're going to just rape your woman, kill her or rape her and take her captive as well. You know, your woman going to be ravished. The word ravished means raped. Let's get another translation, right? Just in case you don't think that that's what ravished means. The Bible goes into that, man. <laughs> See, people thought the Heavenly Father, you know, just, you know, everything just all sweet and dandy in the scriptures. Nah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just reading it. People, children going to get dash pieces. Women going to get raped in these last days, man. The Lord don't play no games. Isaiah 13 and the GNTD. Let's see what it says. What verse was that? 16. It says, while they look on helplessly, right? It says, while they look on helplessly, their babies will be battered to death. So while you look on helpless, you can't do nothing to do nothing. You can't save them. You can watch your children get battered to death. Their houses will be looted and their wives will be raped. That's in a GNTD translation, man. You know, further elaborates in it and more into the modern day English. Your wives will be raped, man. You women will get raped. And that's what happened in Ukraine right now. That's the time, that's what the lesson is going into. Right? So that was the point. Then it's going to me, it's going to Russians, right? Boom. But let's go to Isaiah the 32nd chapter, right? That's why this is a warning for you women, man. Rise up, tremble. You should be afraid right now, man. You should be serving, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through your, through your man, your husband, right? Isaiah 32, let's start at verse 2. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind, the men of the Lord, and and um, and a covert from the tempest as the rivers of water, and a dry place as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So a, a man going to be protection, going to be as in hiding place, going to be, you know, you uh, if you're in a dry land, a desert, you know, and you find rivers of water, you find water, you can be like, oh, yes, finally, I've been walking for days. I need to drink this water. That's going to be a man of the Lord. That man of the Lord is that water. You know, America can be that dry place. You can be walking around seeking a man of the Lord. When you finally find him, it's going to be like, yes, it's going to be like, you can be satisfied. But then, you know, that brother made you say, no, you can't come with me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Now what? Now you like, fuck. Imagine you go. And um, in a dry, you're in a dry place, you find water, you get to that water and it was just an illusion. You know, you get there and there's really no water there. That's like, that's how they're going to feel. Imagine that feeling you have. That's going to be the feeling they'll have when a brother says, no, you can't come with me. Then the brother got spiritual powers, he just vanish. <laughs> you know, take up and fly away. You know, that's going to happen too. Brothers going to have spiritual powers, man. Brothers going to be doing stuff, you know, through faith, you know. And that showed that in the movie, The Book of Eli. You know, he said, you can't come with me, you know, the road's no place for a woman. And she kept following him. Then he locked her inside the thing. She kept following him, man. So women like that gonna just follow that man. They might see a brother, the Lord dealing with him. They're gonna just keep following him, you know, for protection, man. It's just natural, man. Men are protectors, providers, you know, it's gonna happen. So like I said earlier, you know, if you if you a sister out there that believe on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and you have a husband that believes on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you better stick with him. You know, you better stick with him because if you don't, he and you know, he kick you to the side. That's it, man. You can isn't man. Esau, the troops, wicked children of Belial, which are Jakes, they're going to sit there and have a field day with you, man. Let's jump down. Isaiah 32 and verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. So give ear unto the speech of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, who's speaking through me as right now. You know, the Holy Spirit is feeding me, and I'm feeding Yahweh with the Holy Spirit, man. Give ear to the speech of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. These events will take place. Right? It says many days and years. So we don't know how long Jacob's trouble is going to be, man. This is many days and years. It could, be, it could be a long duration of time. Right? Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye, you, you careless woman. You want to be careless, you know? You're at ease. You're complacent, comfortable in society. Right? Many days and years shall you be troubled. For the adventure shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare and gird sack off upon your loins. Time for you to humble down, you know, humble down and repent and get right because let's get, a look, let's get the book of limitations. I believe it's the fourth chapter. Man. Or is it now? Nah, I don't think it's a fourth. I read this chapter in a little minute. That's going to the family. Yeah, I think it's probably the third. 
or the second. Right, bear with me, Akim. Walk, waf. Right. Right here. Wait, is this it? <clears throat> All right, so let's get a lamentation. The first chapter, right? And let's jump down. I'm trying to get straight to the point. Because basically this one, you know, the Babylonian siege, man, it was bad. It was it was bad. It was a famine. You know, coming in siege, they basically stopped everything from coming in or going out. You know? So that led to a famine, man. So during that time, Israelite women saw it in their own children, man. You know? Let me just type it in because I can't, I don't know why I can't find that right now. Maybe I'm skipping down too quick. Oh, um, is this one? La, sorry, let me type it in. Should have been did this, save time. Lamentations 4 and 10. It says, the hands of the pitiful woman have sought in their own children. So during that time, they was cooking their own kids. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. You see? It says what? The Lord have accomplished his fury. That's the fury of Yahweh Shem Shai. He have poured out his fierce anger and have kindled the fire in Zion and have devoured the foundation, foundations thereof. Right? It says the kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world when I have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem. It's more I want to get. It's a certain scripture I'm looking for. Yeah, that wasn't the one I was looking for. That was a good one, though. Right, but it's another one. Oh, let me just type this in. Right here. Right here. Let me see in the fifth chapter, verse 11. It says, I start verse 10. Our skin was black like an oven because of terrible famine. Right? They ravished the woman in Zion. They what? They ravished the woman in Zion. Let's get to, you know, another translation. You know, you get the, you know, the NLT. But I'm going to get this one right quick. See what it says. Right, I'm going to get this translation right here. So Lamentations 5 and 11, right? And it says, Our wives have been raped on Mount Zion itself. In every Judean village, our daughters have been forced to submit. Damn. Man, that's in the GNTD translation, man. Our wives have been raped in Mount Zion. So the woman... Only get raped, man. They ravished, they raped the woman in Zion. Look at the NLT translation. All right, look at the New Living Translation. All right? It says, Our enemies raped the woman in Jerusalem and the young girls in all the towns of Judah. So, man, NLT said, What? You know, it said, the translation, you know, going, like I said, going to further into the modern English. Our enemies raped the women in Jerusalem and the young girls in all the towns of Judah. Damn, man. That's going to happen in these last days. But I'm going to end it off. Let's get another scripture. You know, close our eyes and balance to the lesson. Right? Because that's going to happen soon. That's already happened in Ukraine. So imagine America, Babylon, the Great. Like a second, I just two in verse 27, right? You know, look at straight to the point. It says, watch this, verse 29. Matter of fact, no, no, no. Let's start verse 27. Be not weary. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the worry. For when a day of trouble in heaven is coming, for others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shall be merry and have abundance. Those that trust in how Bashim Yahweh Shai, men, women, and children, right? The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. My hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell, right? Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, saith the Lord. Remember thy children that sleep, for I shall bring them out of the sides of the earth and show mercy unto them. For I am merciful, save the Lord Almighty. So you sisters out there that, that believe in how Bashim Yahweh Shai may have children, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever your living situation is, have faith in how Bashim Yahweh Shai, he will deliver you, man. So but for you wicked women out there, that's like this lesson going into one for you wicked ass women. Y'all about to get y'all about to get it bad. <laughs> right? So Lord will you satisfy through the spirit of Pavia Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want to give call Lion Blah, Yahweh Bashami Hawashai, Bashamakadash, double honors to the elders. 
and apostles of great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without him, I say shalom, while blah, 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 shalom.